What's going on guys, Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and today we're going to talk about primary myelofibrosis. So as usual we're going to get straight to the point, make it clear, brief and illustrated. So let's get started. So what is primary myelofibrosis? So the bone marrow of long bones such as the femur make pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells which have the ability to make a variety of cell lines such as myeloid lines and lymphoid lines. Now the marrow of the primary myelofibrosis is just replaced with connective tissue, making it difficult to produce pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells. There is a dry bone marrow, the body makes them instead in the liver and the spleen. So basically what happens is there is no longer, as you can see, there's no longer production in the uh, normal bone marrow and is more of a dry place and instead uh, the production is shifted to the liver and the spleen. Now, in uh, myeloid metaplasia, what does this mean? This means that the body uses the liver and the spleen to produce the missing cells. So this is a very important term and it's illustrated right here. And this basically can lead to hepatomegaly and splenomegaly. Now, this is what a normal bone marrow would look like. So you'd have the original stem cell and then it would uh, divert into intermediate stem cells which would create red blood cells, white blood cells, and uh, platelets, but what happens in uh, primary myelofibrosis is there is a mutation in JAK2 kinase that compromises the production of stem cells. So this is usually the mutation that will occur uh, when you have a disease such as this. So what are the main symptoms that could occur from here? Now the fibrosis as we talked about uh, producing the marrow is caused by JAK2 kinase mutation. Now, when this mutation occurs, there will be several uh, symptoms and side effects that will occur throughout the body, such as uh, abdominal fullness, uh, which is also known as uh, hepatosplenomegaly. Um, there is also bone pain because of the fibrosis. There is a deficiency in cells, uh, a deficit in platelets. Uh, there is also a uh, possible nosebleed, ecchymosis, which... You can see right here, which is a little redness around the eyes. Um, generally, there is a deficit in red blood cells, and which is also uh, which can lead to anemia. And there's also a deficit in white blood cells, which can lead to sepsis. Now, one thing that is very important to note is that the red blood cells also, uh, so they generally have normal blood cells, but also what you will find in this bloodstream is uh, blood cells that look like teardrops. So if they look like the ones such as here and here then uh, you will most likely have a primary myelofibrosis. Now, the bone marrow is dry. Now, you can uh, test it out by using something called dry tap, which is where you uh, figure out if, if the bone marrow is physically dry. And when it is dry, uh, that is usually one of the symptoms that you can find. And also, uh, in the biopsy, you can find uh, most of the time fibrosis. So, yeah. Moving on, so this is um, what you'd find in a normal bloodstream, and this is what you find in anemia, which is a much lower level of blood cells. This is a normal platelet count, and this is a low platelet count, as you can see in the illustration. Uh, you must also remember that uh, this disease can lead to sepsis, and the, low, and the red blood cells will generally have a teardrop shape. So if you remember these four main things, uh, you should be good. Now for the treatment, uh, what are the two main treatments? So the two main treatments can either be a uh, transfusion or stem cell transplant. Uh, there's a clear uh, diagram right here that'll show you exactly the process of a uh, stem cell transplant. All right, yeah, so that'll be all for today's episode of Medicine in Three Minutes. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I really, really appreciate the support. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Let us know how we did on the video, how we can improve. All the feedback is just great. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. We're almost at 100 subscribers. I honestly can't believe it. So, thank you guys so much. Have an amazing day.